What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the review scores for SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. They are out, and they are not very good. Now, I have a couple things I do want to say about that, so we're going to kind of react uh, to the early critics. Now, this is recorded a day before, so this is uh, I'm recording this on Monday, kind of like in the middle of the day. And, and you know, we've had this discussion before on different games getting review scores. We had a whole talk on the critics and the user scores for The Last of Us, and, and you know, obviously, a lot of different games can have a lot of problems, and of course. Metacritic, and I should make this very clear, Metacritic is not something that I go by. It's not something that I look to. It's something I think a lot of people do, and it makes for a really good discussion uh, on YouTube. That's why I cover it. But me, myself, I mean, this the score on Metacritic isn't going to decide whether or not I buy uh, this game. I'm going to be buying this game no matter what. But the review score is it's a 64 out of 100, or 6.4 out of 100, uh, or out of 10. And uh, it's decent. It's a decent score. It's not, uh, you know, it's not in the red. It's in the yellow, uh, which is, again, kind of like a an average thing. There are people giving this kind of uh, bad scores, though. the The general thought of this game is it's not that special. Is that it's a it is a remake of a very very popular game. Obviously, it looks a lot you know it looks a lot newer. I think I, I've seen people say like you know the visuals putting you in that world of SpongeBob is very very strong. The weakest things that I've seen kind of across the board is the multiplayer brings nothing uh, really exciting to the table. It's not very special at all, and that the level design is pretty outdated. Um, and and this is, I guess, to be expected. Really, where I want to go with this video, what I want to talk about is, like, does it matter all that much? I really, again, especially for a game like this, some people will put more kind of faith in a score than others. I understand that. I get that. And, and, and also, again, I think it honestly depends on the game. A game like SpongeBob, I'm not sure how much people would be putting in to the review scores. Uh, like I've said, like, I'm getting it for myself. I'm also getting it for my daughter. I've seen, you know, I think for a game like this, you're either going to get it or you're not going to get it. A review score is not exactly going to change your mind about it. It's only $40. It's it, it's cheap. It's not a full price game. So this is a game that, it, you know, it, it, it's it's pretty darn solid. I think, and the review scores, again, I think kind of mirror that, is that it is nothing spectacular. It's not the game that's going to make your summer, but it is generally solid. Um, I did honestly not expect, I, well, let me say this. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. I kind of expect it, and I kind of didn't. When I've talked about in the past, I made videos talking about um, like my impressions of this game, like getting ready for it. People had told me, and I haven't checked this, but I think they said like the review scores for the original game was like a 72 or like a 7.2. So the original Battle for Bikini Bottom was more of a hit with fans than critics. The critics didn't really like that one. Now again, seven, like a seven is a solid score. I, I, you know, I think again, even in the reviews, this is a part of the reason why I don't really do reviews at all, and even if I do, I don't really give a score for it, is because scores are all over the place. Sometimes five means average, sometimes five means bad, you know what I mean? A lot of times, like, things like that will get twisted, and then you'll suddenly get a seven, and a seven may be actually really good in some scores, and then also not really good at all at, in others, you know what I mean? So so they'll mean different things, um, and, and even that, though, a 7.2. So critics enjoyed it, but it seems like, obviously, or not, it doesn't seem like, we know for a fact, Battle for Bikini bottom really resonated and did really really good with audiences hence the remake right uh, and so for the fact that this game is getting not necessarily the same score actually a little bit of a weaker score to that game is that's kind of the shocking thing is I thought that because I saw that comment I saw you know the where the reviews for the original game were and I thought that maybe this game could pull out something slightly ahead of it like okay well they they redid it so they made it you know things slightly better so maybe it's like a 7.8 or it's an 8 um again I think just in the sixes just don't look great it doesn't mean anything again in my in my case in my opinion I base things off of the gameplay. I base it off of my own personal interest. I mean, SpongeBob is, again, this is a character. It's a show that I've loved for so many years. I grew up watching him. I have a daughter. She loves it. We're going to play this game together. I'm going to play this game. Like, I'm pumped for this game. I've enjoyed, you know, again, the gameplay and how it, how it looks, I really love it. I really, really think it's, it's good. In terms of the gameplay, like, yeah, it's not the most sophisticated thing in the world. I just got done playing The Last of Us Part 2 and say what you want about the game story, but the gameplay, I think, is the best gameplay in any game ever. That's, I mean, that's my opinion. I, I absolutely love so many things of the gameplay of The Last of Us. So is this going to suddenly like beat that? I'm like, oh my god, I'm so engrossed in the gameplay of SpongeBob. No, obviously not. But I'm not expecting. I mean, who's really going into this game expecting that? And that's honestly, it's tough because do you do reviews based off of your expectations for like a game? 
game that's not full price like this, that's a remake of a game that, again, has its fans, has its haters, how do you balance that? You know, where does that does that kind of put uh, put itself in your mind as you're talking about this game when you're playing it? For me, I'm expecting a good time. I'm expecting to laugh. I'm expecting to be part of Bikini Bottom. You know what I mean? All just all those all those smaller things. I'm not expecting a revolutionary experience. You know what I mean? It's nothing like that. Uh, it, it's a game that's going to get I already beat the last one, so it's a game that's going to get me through to Ghost of Tsushima to destroy all humans. I think it's going to be a really, really solid game, and that's what it seems to be, even though the scores are a little bit lower. So that's where I stand on it. I'm still very much looking forward to it. I'm actually going to be live streaming the game tonight on the channel. So if you guys want to check that out, we're going to have videos on the channel over the next couple days as well. We'll talk about some future SpongeBob games, talk about some things with this game. There's not going to be like a video a day on it, but I definitely want to make videos on this channel and my second channel. I'll leave a link for that in the description. A lot of you guys may have already checked that out. I do, I've done SpongeBob videos on that channel as well. So there'll be videos on both channels as the days progress. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. What do you, are you surprised by the review scores? What do you think the game is kind of worth in, ter in terms of review? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Have that bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. And again, I will see you guys on the future SpongeBob videos over the next couple days.